Hello my people and I welcome to my channel. How on a day? For this video, I'm going to teach you how to make meat bread. Make we quickly go into the video. So, more than no worry, the list of the ingredients will be for the description box where they on that. So, we will need flour. Make sure you sift your flour to remove all the nyama nyama with the day inside flour. So, you will add your flour, add your sugar. Then, come add yeast. The yeast why they use now dry active yeast. So, but if your yeast not the active, what you go do is say you go use lukewarm milk. Then, turn add your yeast into the milk. Leave it for some time, for like in its five to ten minutes, so that the yeast go activate. Then you go put mix everything together. But in this case, I didn't use active yeast, so I will add all the ingredients. As I don't add both the yeast to the sugar, both salt, I can't turn it. Then I can't start to uh, add my wet ingredients, and I can't use lukewarm milk too, so that the yeast will fit activate. Okay, then I will come turn it. Turn it well. In that time, when you go with us, you turn it with your uh, wooden spoon. This so where there is a tongue uh, gary, and here you will come need to use your hand going. They need them. They need an ipacron, ipacron, ipacron. Then go reach your, you know, go to use the bowl again. You go come transfer and go clean surface now. You go don't clean the surface well. Though. Then, uh, what you go do, you say, you go just sprinkle like one tablespoon of sh one tablespoon of flour. No need that, uh, this thing where you go pour on top oh, before you go start to knead them again. So when you pour them on top of the table, then you go to need them. No worry, initially you go see say the thing they made the made for hand, like in the dunya manema for hand. Because it's which type of thing is this? Make you pour flour or not, my brother, my sister. No pour flour or no pour anything. That your village people they tell you say pour flour. If you know one make you see the distance, no turn to uh, no no become waste. So just leave them like that, they need them. No worry, with time it go start to come together. You go see say the table no they stick your hand all that nyama nyama go come the commode for your hand small small chai or um, more so no be small thing you go just delete and they go i beg oh if now your first time when they come across this my channel i beg help me do better to just help me like my my, my this video then you feel subscribe to the channel then also turn on your notification bell so that anytime where, where i post new thing you could just see ya um, okay so now that way you could just delete and they need that So as I come down, I come press, I see say the thing they enter inside. So they do never do. So you go continue to they need that. They need them because once you press them, if you enter inside, that means they never do well. But you go continue to they need them. But once you see say if you press them in on the comma sharp sharp, you see say you don't they good. Uh -huh. So what you go do be say you go need them. Once you need them, need them, need them. No need this though for more than 10 to 15 minutes. So no need them for more than 10 to 15 minutes. If not, you go just spoil everything. So once you don't need them for some time, they go come bring bow. When you don't do okay, you go bring bow. Pour small vegetable oil for your bow. Then come rub them inside. Rub the dough. Make the oil cover cover the body. You go come use something. Cover them. Leave them for like one hour. Making rice well, so now we go just go go prepare filling. What we go use for our meat bread, okay? So what we we'll go use na onion. I don't that's my onion. I wash them before I cut them. They can also use carrot too. I wash them before I use grater, grate the carrot. So for this one, I use beef. So my beef gets fat, which is oil. So if your beef not get fat, you will need small vegetable oil. Then you will come pour the vegetable oil for pot to come fry your onion. But me, I know uh, my beef get fat, so I just carry my beef, my onion put for pot like that. Fry and small, then I can add my beef. Then come the try turn them to scatter them so that you know go gum gum together. So you go fry them till brown like this. So then you can come add your spice, both your pepper or your maggi or your salt. Your curry powder, you go turn them, turn them well. 
you see all this juice now that fat they talk about then you go come turn on well then i can't add my carrot then come fry them small then you go come with, make with you both people they call slurry slurry now flour and water where you go pour inside here because you see i seem be in dry you know go good like that mean dry so you go one main day small wet like main come together main moist then if you come pour that slurry you go come turn on you can't see how the thing fine be ah oh my this bread sweet though it makes sense that i beg make a una rush do this bread una tell me how na like her so as i can't make the slurry finish now see my flour after my dough in don't rise after one hour i can use my hand bust them bam then can they need them control for ground for this flat surface they can start to divide them into equal parts this quantity of dough if you make from 18 to 20 pieces of bone uh -huh. so if you divide them more how you want them so i make my own small small uh -huh. so then after that then you can carry you will come when you don't finish cut and finish roll them to cycle then you can use your rolling pin come bring one roll them down come they fill in your meat to the dough for you to close you go draw you go pull the sides because of the flour now don't they stretchy uh -huh. you go pull the dough side to side come they pinch them so that you go the gum together then if you pinch and finish you go pinch and well with your finger then if you do one for your hand or you go say i said they do one for my hand like that if you do one like that or if you do one for table the end product we say make that mouth close so that nothing will leak come out so because you know what make those things leak come out for grand so if you finish like that you go do like this so till you finish all your dough you go finish put your meat bread your meat your meat mixture inside the dough hair they go put out for baking tray i use parchment paper for my baking tray if you still use butter grease your baking tray then cause still use parchment paper put on top and so the bread no stick then when you finish put your meat inside the dough the small small balls where you don't make finish close and put them for parchment paper you're gonna need to cover them again also so that you go rice for like 40 minutes then as you deliver main cover main rice for 40 minutes you go bring plates break one egg inside the plate then you go come add milk join the egg for the plate then you go come beat them small small pium, 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 pium. so what will they do now egg wash we'll go use the rock for the bread when the bread don't rise come out before we go put them for oven uh -huh. so when you don't use your fork like this come beat them then you go see now they as i can't bring out the bread as yeah they keep them in don't rise like twice then we can't use the egg wash rubber for the body of the bread uh, those say never become bread now still raw bread with this then, <laughs> then you go just rub and finish when you rub them like this then you go come put them for over main bacon for like 25 to 30 minutes see these beautiful babies now ha! Oh my, this bread it makes sense. It makes sense. Die. I beg, go on a rush. Go try out this bread. Mona, tell me how it be. And people who don't chop this bread, Mona, no. Mona, comment. Tell me how na, how it be. Make Mona no also forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Okay. I go see Mona for my next video. Okay. Mona, bye. Love you guys. Bye.